Okay, in this video, we're continuing our Google My Business optimization by uh, optimizing the images and uploading them to Google My Business. So um, in the last video, we got all the images we wanted by service type, and uh, we filtered out all the junk, smaller images, uh, images with logos in them and that sort of thing. So now we're left with a bunch of images with random file names. Um, so let me pull that up. Okay, so as you can see here, we have our main folders here, the four folders which match the service types that we are going after. And inside of each one, we have you know a bunch of images with a bunch of random file names. So we want to optimize the names of these images, and we also uh, want to geotag them, which uh, geotagging just means basically inserting uh, some code inside of the image file, which uh, Google can read. And it basically looks like the image uh, was taken at that location. So when you take a picture with your phone, it will usually uh, embed what's called EXIF data. And that's just a fancy way of saying it stamps the image with some information, one of them being the latitude and longitude. All right, but first, before we get into that, we're going to name all these images and uh, rename them, I should say. And by renaming them, we're going to optimize them for the service and the location. All right, so in order to do that, uh, I'm gonna pull up this tool I like to use. Okay, so we have this tool called textmechanic.com uh, slash text-tools combination uh, dash permutation dash tools. It's a long URL, but if you just go, if you just go to the main URL, textmechanic.com, you're gonna be able to find this. Uh, combination tool. And this is the default uh, page you see once you load it up, and we need to kind of replace some of this information. So in this first box here, it has a bunch of uh, letters, just A through D. This is where we're going to put all the locations. So I'm going to open up the uh, file that we have for the client and open up the service locations text file. I'm just going to copy all these Okay, I just used uh, control C, I'm just using my hotkeys, but I copied all of those and I'm coming over here and I'm pasting all of these in here. So you can see we've got this list of all these locations now. All right, so I'm gonna scroll down. I'm gonna change generate objects into combinations of one. And you can see it will, uh, it changes the number that it'll produce based on the list here. Uh, we can leave that as yes and the first thing that we're going to do is grab uh, the first service name. So I'm going to go with interior painting first. So I'm just going to copy that. Okay, let me minimize that and come back to it. And I'm going to start with the prefix. I'm going to paste that in, and then I'm also going to add a space. All right, and you'll see why in a second, because it's essentially going to take interior painting with every one of these terms and generate a list. So I'll click Generate Combinations. And you can see here, we have this uh, generated list now, Interior Painting Southampton, Interior Painting West Hampton, and so on and so on. Uh, so that is the first part of the list. We also wanna get the inverse of this where we also have Southampton Interior Painting, West Hampton Interior Painting, right? But first, I'm just going to select all of these and I'm gonna copy them. And then the other tool that you want to get is called Ant Renamer. It's just a way to optimize and just speed up your systems here. And I'm all about optimizing time, not just for yourself, but even when you have a VA, a virtual assistant, uh, time is still money because you're obviously paying them by the hour most likely. And uh, this will definitely save them some time. All right, so get this tool here, it's free, Ant Renamer. If you just Google that, you'll find it. And I'll just close that tab out for now. Uh, let me go back over to this tool. So I'm gonna open up Ant Renamer. It's a very simple tool. And all I'm going to do is click on Add Files. And since we started with Interior Painting, I'm going to find Interior Painting. All right, so I open up that folder. I have got all the images here. So I'm just gonna select all of them. Control A on PC, Command A on, on Macs and then click open. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is click on the actions tab and I'm going to select uh, take names from a list. All right, and I was 
working with this earlier, but I'll delete all those. So when you open this, you'll see it like this. Uh, make sure that this is checked, append original extension of a file. I'm not sure if it's like that by default, but it will say whatever setting it is. So it should be checked, and then this one should not be checked, right? And then I'll paste that list in, and then I'll just hit enter to go to the next line. But I'm not doing anything else yet, because I'm coming back over to text mechanic, and now I'm going to get rid of this prefix of interior painting. I'm going to paste uh, as a suffix. So I'm going to do space, then paste it, and then get rid of the other space that I had there at the end. Okay. So essentially, we're left with space, and you can see it when I highlight it here. Then we have the service type keyword. All right. And then I'm going to do generate combinations. Now you can see how we have the entire inverse of all of that. So I'm going to select all of this again, copy it, come back over to Ant Renamer. And now I'm going to paste that at the end. So now I have a full list of all of these SEO service area and locations for interior painting. But now here's the other thing to look at is that down here you see we have 102 files. This is related to the number of images within that interior painting folder. So we can do a couple things. One, we can delete. Uh, we can basically run this and rename all the images. And then since we have more images than we have names in this list, then we're going to have some extras left over and we can delete those. Um, but I found that it doesn't really matter if we have some numbers appended to the end of these. So what I do is I take this list, select all, copy it. And if you remember, this list includes the prefix of interior painting. And it also includes the suffix of interior painting. And each one was 23 combinations. So in total, we have 46. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to post this master list now here. And instead of uh, interior painting here as the suffix, I'm going to change that to a space two. And what that's going to do is give me a whole new set of combinations, 46 more uh combinations so in total this gives me 92 now uh 46 and 46 uh, so i would select all of these and then go back over to ant renamer and then come down here and paste so now i have uh what did i say it was 92 so it's 46 of the original plus another 46 with the number two appended to the end. Now, again, we still have more images. If you remember 102 um, compared to the 96, so we still have a little bit of overage. So at this point, I would just run it. Um, you could do it again with the number three if you had more images. Um, it's completely up to you. Um, so with it being as close as it is, what I'm going to do is just click the Go button. Uh, let me just make sure that I have everything set properly. Uh, yep, so I'm going, to, I'm going to click go, and that's going to automatically rename all of those images inside of the interior painting folder. So you can see now, this is my Dropbox resyncing because all these names are just redone here. And let's see if we can find the ones that did not get named. So we see we have these four right here. Uh, so here's one, two, three four, five, I think this one was named earlier, but so I'll delete those since we only want the, the SEO title images that we just renamed. And it's easier sometimes to view this as a list. So let me go ahead and click view. Uh, let's go list. And I'm not looking at the image itself. I'm just looking at the file names to make sure that it doesn't have any of the old file names with dashes and random names like this one here. So this one was one of the leftovers. Here's a leftover, this one and this one. So I'll delete those. And now all we are left with, and let me just select see how many. I've got 93 in here. So I think we had a couple duplicates maybe that uh, got, got removed, which is fine. Uh, so let's just see. All right, this is looking good. And if I 
change the view again to large. We can just kind of go through and just make sure everything is exactly how we want it. So you can see we have Huntington interior painting with the number two after it. And we also have Huntington interior painting, the original file. But both of these are good to use. It just gives us more uh, photos that we can have on there. All right, so interior painting is all set. So what I want to do now, let me go back, is I'm going to do the, ex the exact same thing for cedar restoration, exterior painting, and pressure washing. All right, so let me go ahead and do that now. And I'm gonna pause the video. When I come back, all four of these folders will be completed the way I just did interior painting. And then the next step will be to uh, geotag all these images. All right, so I'll be back in one second. Okay, so I'm back and I've done the other three folders. So each one of these now has uh, optimized titles for the images. So if we look at a few of them, you can see that we have a combination of the location and service type. And um, I've done that for all four of these folders. Um, one thing I do want to point out though is inside of Ant Renamer, as you go from one service type to another, so in other words, if you just finished pressure washing and you're going to interior painting next, just be sure that you're not adding files before you remove all. So if you don't do that, you're going to rename what you just did. Um, so you can see I've got 93 files here from the last one I did. I wanna remove all. Now I'm at zero files. Now I can select the next one of interior painting and bring those all in here and hit open. And now those are the ones I'm working with. That way you don't overwrite what you just did. I've done that before, it's a little annoying. All right, so that's done. I can close out Ant Renamer, we're done with that. Uh, so now we're left with these four folders of images. The next step is to geotag all of these images with the latitude and longitude. And the tool I like to use for that is, I'm actually gonna close out this, uh, I don't think we need this anymore, the combination. Okay, so I actually found a new tool, so redoing this part of the video because this geotagger makes things a lot easier. Um, so this link will be <clears throat> in your resources file. It's a free tool. So once you get to a screen like this, you can uh, just go ahead and download it and install it. And I'll open it up. It's going to look a little bit different for you just because uh, I've already configured my settings. But as soon as you open it up, first thing you want to do is go to file settings and there's a few things we want to select we want to make sure let me see let me go to file options we want to make sure that we check overwrite original file when saving changes all right um let me see preserve file date and time when saving changes so make sure that is selected as well um I believe the rest of this is default. Uh, let me just check a few things here. This is all default, leave all of this. Uh, yeah, so everything else should be default. Just hit okay when you finish that. And what you wanna do here is locate the directory for your images. Uh, so what we can actually do, and this is just taking a second here to load my changes from the settings. Um, we can actually go up at a level and just click on the images folder. As long as all you have in here are the images that you want to geotag. So I'll just select that and then I'll click this little icon here for show images and subfolders. And what's going to do is just scan all of the folders and subfolders and grab all of the images in there so we can geotag all these images at once. So you can see down here, it's grabbing uh, 383 images and four directories. All right, so now what we wanna do once uh, this has been completed is just click somewhere in here and then we're going to select all and then click on edit, rating, rating five. All right, and the next thing we're going to do is then click edit again, edit data. let that load up okay so it's going to pull this pop-up here and uh, you can see at the top we have a bunch of tabs I'm going to go right to custom view and it's a 
Let's give it a little second here to pull it up. So I'm going to put in the latitude and longitude, which we have from our schema file that we updated earlier. All right, so I'm going to get the latitude here. Copy that. Let me just paste that in there, and then I'm going to get the longitude. Copy that. And just paste that right there. All right, so we're going to scroll down. Under copyright, we're going to put the URL. Now, some of these fields, even though this says URL, if you put it there, it just won't show up. So I like to put it under the copyright section. So in this case, it's color bright painting.com. All right, I'm going to skip a lot of this stuff, go right down to where it says contact byline. And this is where I'm going to put in the exact business name. So color space bright space painting. Okay, um, that is it. So we're basically just building brand association with all these images as well. So we've got the brand name and the URL. And remember the URL goes underneath the copyright section. All right, once you've put, uh, once you have uh, placed that data in these fields, and of course the latitude and longitude, we're going to set current values for all selected images. And you're gonna see this pop up here. And then I just wanna click on show values just so I can see what we're actually putting in. So I wanna put check marks next to each of those values and really only those values. So we've got the location, the copyright with the URL, the rating of five, the brand name here, and that's it. Everything else should be unchecked. And I'll click OK. And then I will click OK again. Now I'm going to go to Edit and Save Changes of Selected Images. And it's going to ask you to put in a time zone. I always like to pick the time zone of wherever the business is located. In this case, it's uh, New York. So it's UTC minus five. So you just select however that applies to you and then uh, click OK. And uh, you may get some errors here and there for whatever reason, sometimes, um, there may be some weird things with the files, but for the most part, you can just click continue. Okay, so sometimes if you get too many of those errors, the best thing to do is actually um, turn off the uh, the flat sub images. Um, actually, I'm just gonna go up a directory here and then do each one individually. So up oh, into interior painting, select all, edit. You need to override it you can just go back through the steps so set current values All right just confirm it again okay and then okay now we can go to edit and now we can go to save changes select the time zone let me see this little progress bar here and it will run through and name all these images or rename all of them, I should say. All right, and then if we open up the folder while it's writing, I can go into color bright painting images and right now we're doing interior painting. And it's easier to, it's easy to see when you're doing this on Dropbox because you can see the little update in real time, and then the green check mark means it's done. So if I right click on one of these images just to confirm, and I'm gonna go to properties, and then I'm gonna click details. So we've got the five stars, we have the brand name here, Color Bright Painting, we have the copyright of the URL, and if I scroll down, we also have the latitude and the longitude, which is really the key thing for this whole operation. All right, so I'm going to do this for, I'm just going to confirm that I've done this properly for all four of these folders. 
All right, so I'll go ahead and do that now, pause the video, and then when I come back, we'll take the finalized images, which will be done in all of these folders, and we're going to upload them into Google My Business. Okay, so we're back and we finished all of these images inside of each folder. So they all have the proper geotags. Um, and also, if you recall, we did the um, brand name and the URL as the copyright. Uh, so what we're going to do now is open up our uh, Google My Business. And on the left navigation menu, you're going to see an option here for photos. So click on that. And there are options here to upload images of interior, exterior, and videos. We're not going to worry about that because the images we're uploading are actually related to the services. And we're going to essentially let titles of the images that we just optimized do the SEO for us. So we don't really need to categorize anything. So we're just going to click the plus button. And then we're just going to select all the photos. So we can do this by service type just to make sure that we're doing it in an organized way. So I'll go up to images and I'll start from the top and work my way down. Cedar restoration. So I'll just use control A to select all and then open. And let that load. And you'll see this progress bar here of everything uploading. Okay, so after that loads, you're going to see all of those images populate inside of your Google My Business. Um, so this was the first image folder. And we're just going to repeat that process for all of the other images. So I'll click the plus button again, and then I'll select photos and videos from your computer. And I'm gonna go up a directory and then do exterior painting. Select all, open them. And then we'll see that progress bar once again for uh, these images. Um, so I'm going to let this load and finish up. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the other image folders. I'll pause the video right now and I'll be right back. Okay, so all of these images have now been uploaded and you can just kind of scroll through and verify that as well. Um, so that is it. Now we've uploaded all of our SEO images and uh, they're also geotagged. So that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.